Hey, so we are living and working on a vineyard right now in uh, the middle of Wisconsin. We are going to be here for the next couple of weeks just trying to learn about how grapes grow and do a grape harvest and everything. Um, one of my biggest goals for this next year is to start working on smaller farms and getting my hands in the dirt and kind of learning how to grow my own food and how to harvest my own food and stuff. Um, so yeah, that brings us here. Enjoy the video. They have a small garden on the farm that they are allowing us to pick from and uh, make our meals with. So we are about to do a little forage. He's beautiful. He is. <laughs> so fresh. Look at this littlest bell pepper I've ever seen. Where is he? He's right there. Here we've got some eggplants growing. Oh wow, he's good. I asked some people on Instagram to give me some questions they want answered during this video. So I'm just going to walk around the vineyard and show you guys some things that people had questions about. <laughs> so I had quite a few people ask about um, what kind of grapes we were harvesting out here. So we harvested the majority of the grapes that we have on the vines, but I did find a couple bundles for you guys. Um, this right here, this green one, is the Brianna grape. It's what we harvested the most of. I think we did around 3,000 pounds of this, um, so quite a few. And then this, we only had about four rows of, so it didn't equal that much, but this is the Marquette. Um, both of these are seeded grapes, and they are grown for the use of wine, 
Um, so they're not going to be like the grapes that you find in your supermarket because they do have seeds and they're quite a bit smaller. Even in comparison, the Marquette is much smaller than the um, Brianna. But yeah, I'm going to show you the kind of vines that they grow on. So these are the vines that the grapes grow on. Um, they'll start down here and then come up and wrap themselves around each tier of wire over here. So this right here is a first year vine. So it hasn't really attached itself to the wire yet, but these bigger ones have been out here for quite a few years. The vineyard's been around for 12 years, so these could be anywhere from three to 12 years old. The vines don't start producing fruit until three years. So they'll sit here for three years and grow, and then there'll be these giant bushes that produce fruit. In the past years, they've been able to get about a bucket of grapes per plant, which is 20 pounds, sometimes a little more. Um, but this year we were able to only get about a bucket per five or six plants. And that's just because they had a lot of bird damage out here this year because they didn't net their plants. So um, the birds were getting to them or we had a ton of wasps that were trying to get us while we were harvesting. Um, so it took a little bit longer for that process, but we did get about 3,000 pounds of the Brianna and then another couple hundred pounds of the Marquette, just because there weren't a whole lot of um, Marquette available. We harvested, what, like eight hours a day, and we did five days so far, I want to say. Um, maybe actually even a, a few more than that. And we still have one more harvest that we're wanting to do out here. But I'll show you what the nets do look like if they put them on. So this is what the nets over the plants look like. And these are just to stop any birds from coming through. And whenever we were harvesting, we were basically just picking up the bottom and coming in under the plants Someone asked if we were able to eat the fruit at the vineyard, and yes, we are. Um, of course, you don't want to eat everything that you're harvesting, so I'm not just sitting here eating grapes all day. And they are seeded, so they take a long time to eat because you have to spit the seeds out and stuff. Um, but yes, we can eat the fruit, and they are delicious. <laughs> I got a couple of questions about how I afford van life or how I afford to travel all the time and if this is my main gig. Um, but this is just like a two week thing. We're just living on the land and harvesting for um, these nice people. And uh, I got this job on Craigslist actually. We were looking for gigs. We thought that we were gonna work um, the state fair out here actually. And I saw a post about grape harvesters and it's been a big dream of mine to like learn how to harvest food and learn how to grow my own food and stuff. Um, and so we decided to apply for the gig and ended up getting it, which was kind of a surprise because we didn't really have any experience. But we're very grateful for this opportunity. That's really We were able to eat the oh god mosquito bundles so we'll go with the bigger and most predominant one out here <laughs> it looks like a penis <laughs> <laughs> i was hello hello <laughs> i got beans beans on my feet and beans on my meat <laughs> <laughs> 